All right, today we're gonna to be going through and going over the five pieces of home gym equipment that you need to get started. First piece of equipment, slam ball. I drew this little illustration. This is a slam ball. It's a circular ball. It's relatively soft. It's very heavy though, depending on which size you get. But you throw it on the ground, so you've gotta bend down and pick it up. If you do that repetitively, that's a good workout. That's usually what I do, ball slams as hard as I can, but there's so many other things you can do. You can do presses, you can hold on to it and do ball squats, I do that quite a bit. You can do step ups. Even preparing for a fire academy, I threw it in my backpack and now I have a giant weight vest or weighted backpack and I went on hikes. So another good utilization for the slam ball. It's all about your imagination. Second piece of equipment is gonna be dumbbells. Pretty much any and every exercise you can think of, you can do with dumbbells. The reason dumbbells are so great though is because you can do alternating stuff and you can do unilateral, meaning one side at a time, not requiring as much weight, say, if you had a barbell. I got mine off of Craigslist. You get these rubber hex dumbbells. They're usually the most inexpensive ones you can find. And then you can just add on as you get more money, save up, get a heavier pair, get a lighter pair, add threes for some prehab work or punches or anything you can think of really. Eights, 12s, 15s, 20s, 65s. I ended up selling the set that I did have and getting power blocks, which are an adjustable set. So it takes up a smaller space. I don't need as many pairs of dumbbells. The third piece of equipment is going to be this axle bar, specifically the stubby axle bar, which is five feet as opposed to seven feet. Now I've done a whole entire video on the stubby axle bar and why it's so underrated and how it can be utilized as a versatile piece of equipment as opposed to a $350 barbell. I love the thickness of it. It works well with lighter weights, because this alone is just 20 pounds. But with an axle bar, you can utilize so many good compound movements, work on that grip strength, get excellent arm workouts. And not only that, the width of it, it only being five feet, it's perfect for a small space like this, a garage gym. So I would highly recommend either going with Titan Fitness and getting their $55 stubby axle bar version, or Rogue Fitness, which is only $100 for the stubby axle bar. Great piece of equipment. Fourth piece of equipment is gonna be a kettlebell. Very versatile piece of equipment, highly functional. It will hit you in spots that you haven't been hit before. It's not just as simple as doing a kettlebell swing. You can do so many different movements, so many different variations of cleans, overhead presses, goblet squats and the list goes on and on. It works on your grip strength a lot, probably even more so than the axle bar. You can spend your whole entire workout just doing kettlebell movements, or you could mix things up and just incorporate it with other pieces of equipment as well. For the fifth and final piece of equipment, punching bag. This is a great conditioning tool, great cardio, awesome workout. You throw on a pair of gloves, or don't throw on a pair of gloves. Start wailing away at this. Learn how to throw a good punch so you don't hurt yourself. I'm so happy that I got into it. And then you start meeting people. I met this CHP guy and we do a lot of different types of boxing trainings here and there. So sparring, heavy bag work, mitt work and stuff like that. There's a lot of good content on YouTube as well. I did a boxing workout. You can go check that out or they have Nate Bauer Fitness and some other boxing channels, Precision Striking, that really help you figure out the proper way to throw a punch because everybody should know how to do that. When the time hopefully never comes, you wanna be able to handle yourself a little bit and knowing how to throw a punch or beating up on a 100 pound heavy bag that may help you in that scenario. This one specifically 100 pounds, but there's 70 pound heavy bags, there's 150 pound heavy bags, but I found that this one works great. Tidal is a good reputable brand. It's got the straps, which makes it quieter. When my kids are sleeping or something, it's not as loud as some of the ones with chains. 
But that my other one had a chain and that was a good heavy bag. There's also like stands you can get. You go to Dick's Sporting Goods, you can probably get set up with a stand and a bag and gloves for like 200 bucks. So great piece of equipment. I love it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video on the top five pieces of home gym equipment you need to get started. If you got any value out of this, if you learned something or maybe sparked an idea, please hit that like button. If you're anyone besides my wife, please drop a comment if you got any recommendations. Uh, if you want to see more videos, workouts, and reviews, please hit that subscribe button. And always keep working hard. See you next time.